Welcome to Mount Olympus. The mythical mountain for centuries has been celebrated with its high peaks, dense forests and famous Any Pears Gorge. On this mountain 15 years ago, the first ever Olympus Marathon was held and it has since gone on to become the leading Greek mountain race. This year, for the first time in its long history, two new routes have been added to the international certification of the International Sky Running Federation. The Olympus Verticals saw the athletes take on a 4.2 kilometre route with 1,024 metres of climbing. There was also the Olympus Ultra, which was a 70 kilometre route and included 5,200 metres of positive altitude gain. Three other smaller races were also held, the Olympus Mini, a 5 kilometre Melindra race and a 14 and a half kilometer Eagle's Edge. The 15th Olympus Marathon fetos, ένας αγώνας που από το ξεκίνημά του φάνηκε ότι έχει μια ιδιαίτερη δυναμική ανάπτυξη. Αυτό έχει να κάνει καταρχήν με τον μύθο του Ολύμπου και κατά δεύτερον με την ιδιαιτερότητα της διαδρομής που επιλέξαμε όταν τον σχεδιάζαμε. Μια διαδρομή που ακολουθεί την πορεία που ακολουθήσαν οι αρχαίοι Έλληνες για να τιμήσουν τους θεούς. Ξεκινάει διασχίζοντας πανέμορφα φαράγγια, φτάνει στο αλπικό τοπίο και ξανά διασχίζοντας το φαράγγι του Ενιπέα καταλήγει στο λιτόχωρο. More than 800 runners from 25 countries had come to participate around some of the mountain's wonderful trails. Among them is Stevie Kramer, a former record track runner who just three months ago became a mother. Let's hear how she combines being a parent and mountain running. There's nothing like being a mother. It is the best thing in the world. Yeah, so I had a baby three months ago and this is my first race back. Um, so I'm very nervous, but I just, I hope to finish. It won't be a very fast race for me. Leading trail runners from around the world, such as Anna Frost and Cassandra Scallion had come to race the Olympus from as far away as New Zealand and America. They were both looking forward to tackling the famous race. I'm excited for it because I've never been here. Um, I don't have any major expectations other than just enjoying myself and getting through the race. Well, I think that Mount Olympus is just world famous and I wanted to come for the mythology, for the stories here and also to run up such a prominent mountain. Um, there isn't a whole lot in front of it or blocking the views or anything and so I expect just gorgeous scenery up there. And I'm really excited to see that. Elite Greek athlete Dimitris Theodorakakos was back once again looking to defend his title of champion. The prospects always from such a such a difficult and appetizing race are to be able to maintain the endurance and the the course in all its duration, so that να βγάλω το καλύτερο του εαυτού μου, να μπορέσω να είμαι αποδοτικός μέχρι το τελευταίο μέτρο. Amongst the best athletes who were preparing to race were two sisters from Sweden, Elkot Sanna and Lena. Let's get their expectations before the race. I'm really excited because we're going further up the mountain. You can see the mountain is, looks so spectacular. The route is, is quite special because it's only uphill and then downhill. So yeah, it's gonna be cool. A really cool race with one uphill and then, uh, of course, it's some, <laughs> it's some more uphill in the end, but it's really cool with this uh, mythical mountain. The weekend started with a vertical kilometer starting in Prionia on the Gamari Starley Trail's famous path. It was a warm-up for the main races that were to come, but it was still fiercely contested. 
This year, the opening event was also part of the World Vertical Kilometre Circuit, so the very best from all over the world had come to test their strength and endurance. We power, we can go to the right, we can go to the right. We start the right, we start the right, and we will be a little bit more. Fernando Tiexto from Andorra won the vertical race in just 42 minutes. He finished two minutes ahead of Spain's Mario Olamente. Third overall with an impressive display was Lena Elkop from Sweden with her twin sister Sana making it a 1-2 in the women's division. The Greek athletes of Salomon, Glikiret Tsiatsia and George Dialectos finished third in their respective classes. It was really fun. Uh, yeah, the weather really was happy. <laughs> yeah, the weather was perfect for us because it wasn't too hot. It was nice to stay in the shadow in the forest. Μια πάρα πολύ καλή θέση από τη στιγμή που υπήρχε έντονος διεθνής συναγωνισμός. Σίγουρα είναι ένα πολύ καλό αποτέλεσμα. Να μην ξεχνάμε ότι είχαμε και διεθνείς αθλητές σήμερα να τρέχουν εδώ μαζί μας. Φιλοξενούμε το παγκόσμιο sky running αυτό το αυτό το τριήμερο. For yet another year, future marathoners took part in the Olympus Mini for Children. They filled the square and streets of Little Horo with their endless enthusiasm and smiles. Olympus Mini! The next day, the Olympus Ultra and Olympus Marathon got underway. Both started from the famous archaeological site of Dion and the two distances followed the same route before splitting at the 15-kilometre marker at the Petrostruga refuge. The ultra-distance headed towards the northwest of Olympus and its second peak, Scolio, at 2,912 metres high. It then rejoined the marathon route to the finish in the Tachoro. Σίγουρα οι αθλητές έχουν να περιμένουν έναν πολύ δύσκολο αγώνα. Really like Γενικά το σύνολο διαδομής πιστεύω ότι θα είναι πανέμορφη. Dozens of runners were ready at the early start time of 4 o'clock, ready to make history and take part in the first ever Olympus Ultra. The weather was perfect, with their headlamps showing the way the athletes started their 70-kilometer long journey. Two hours later, the Olympus Marathon Runners got underway with the 2018 edition marking the event's 15th anniversary. It's kind of one of the most epic races and it just looks so beautiful, so I wanted to be a part of it. After the first six kilometers on road, at the first water station, the athletes hit the dirt trails towards Petrostruga. They then headed to Lemos before passing the famous Throne of Zeus and the Muses Plateau. At the same time, in Litachoro, the leader of the medical volunteers of the Hellenic Red Cross coordinated the groups that were attempting the mountain. Αυτή τη στιγμή υπάρχουν 90 εθελοντές διασκορπισμένοι σε όλη τη διαδρομή. Έχουν όλα τα φαρμακεία, όλο τον εξοπλισμό, έχουν την εμπειρία και τη γνώση και ενημερώνουν και τους αθλητές για τα επικίνδυνα σημεία στα οποία βρίσκονται εκεί πέρα. In the refuge of Christos Kakalos and shortly after the beginning of the Zonoria, the end of the rugged hill is marked. There is a series of Stephanie and a great descent to any pair's canyon with the athletes crossing the incredibly beautiful pass of this mythical mountain. Four hours, 37 minutes and 44 seconds was all it took for the prolific Dimitris Theodora Kakos to finish this great race and clinch victory.
Mark Cazor from Andorra and Demetrius Salitas finished second and third in a time of 4 hours 40 minutes and 15 seconds. Δεν ξεκίνησε και με την καλύτερη αίσθηση. Η ανηφόρα μου βγήκε λίγο δύσκολα, αλλά ούτω ή άλλω οι συναθλητέ που έχω να συναγωνιστώ είναι αρκετά καλύτεροι από μένα από τα αποδητήρια στην ανηφόρα. Γιατί όλοι μένουν στα βουνά, εγώ είμαι πυρεώτη, δεν έχω καμία σχέση με αυτό το κομμάτι. Τα τελευταία 5 χιλιόμετρα ε, είδα ότι ήμουν πολύ κοντά με τον πρώτο αθλητή. Είχα κρατήσει κάποιε δυνάμει, πίεσα παραπάνω την κατηφόρα και βγήκε. The twin Alcott sisters again finished first and second in the marathon, completing the race in 5 hours 21 and 23 minutes respectively. Stevie Kramer finished five minutes later in third. It was fantastic. Uh, the course is made. It's actually uh, one of the best courses I've ever have run. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really happy. The next day, hundreds of athletes ran the Melindra race and the Eagle's Edge, flooding the paths of any pair and Little Choro. The huge number of participants proves just how successful this event is and it offers the race organizers a real boost. Έχω έρθει σε αυτή τη διοργάνωση τρει φορέ και χρόνο με το χρόνο από εξαιρετική γίνεται ακόμα πιο εξαιρετική. Πολύ καλά όλα. Ο αγώνα ήταν τέλειο, είχε τέλεια διοργάνωση, η σηματοδότηση ήταν τέλεια, το τερέν ήταν ωραίο και ο καιρό ιδανικό. Είμαστε μέλη τη Εθνική Πανγεία, έναν εκ των βασικών χορηγών του αγώνα. Χαίρομαστε πάρα πολύ που είμαστε μέλη αυτή τη γιορτή. Πρόκειται για μια καταπληκτική εμπειρία. Ερχόμαστε πολύ κοντά στη φύση, τα οποία είναι μαγικά. Ε, το συστήνουμε σε όλους την επιφύλακτα και ανανεώνουμε το ραντεβού μας για τη χρόνια. Σήμερα έκανα την κόψη των ετών, το οποίο ήταν μια πάρα πολύ καλή διαδρομή και ευτυχώ που την έκανα και το χάρηκα πάρα πολύ. Ήταν μια μεγάλη γιορτή σήμερα. Τέλεια όλα, η διοργάνωση ήταν άψογη και του χρόνου πάλι εδώ θα είμαστε. The mythical mountain and its many racing trails were once again successfully conquered in what was another fantastic Olympus marathon. The athletes will no doubt be preparing to return once again in 2019 for another edition of the race on the famous mythical mountain.